Hi, it's Shannon here from houseimprovements.com and uh, I'm just today going to show you a quick video on doing installing aluminum soffit and fascia. So uh, today we're installing a three panel white fascia aluminum uh, on this uh, new addition here and um, I'm going to show you how to level across, get your J channel which is the track against the house that holds the soffit up. Uh, how to get it all in position, screw it on. We're going to throw in a few panels of soffit and then I'm also going to show you how to do the fascia. So soffit is the panel that goes underneath your eave of your house and the fascia is the L-shaped panel that goes you know, along where your eave trough is on the, on the vertical edge. Okay, so I've already got some of this done but I'm going to explain to you exactly how I did it. Uh, we want to we wanna determine a line here for our soffit channel, this J channel here that I've already got attached. So really all you need to do is take a, a level and you want to level a line across from the bottom of your wooden fascia over against the house. Okay, so mark that line and then uh, mark the same thing on both ends of the house and snap a, a straight line with the chalk line. And then you can run your J channel to that line and screw it to the house. And you simply do that by inserting screws right into the channel, screwed back into the wood of the house. Um, pretty basic uh, once you get up there and, and get it done it's, it's, it'll be great. Once you have that determined you need to determine the width of the uh, soffit panel because you'll need to cut that it comes in a, in a long sheet from the factory so you need to cut it individually into pieces for whatever size you, you want. So I'm gonna butt my tape measure straight into the surface of the house measure out to the front edge of the wooden fascia and I'm gonna take a quarter inch off that usually gets you uh, the, the right distance, uh, gives you a little bit of play. So uh, I've got a measurement of 11 and 3 quarters there. I'm going to cut my panels to uh, 11 and a half and that should work. You want you want to check your distance every 5 or 6 feet because uh, sometimes the house or the fascia is in and out, but you can cut a few panels to that size anyways. I've already done that and like I said before uh, the panel comes in a long length, usually about 12 feet long. So you need to cut this into lengths, and you can simply do that by marking it and uh, marking a line, square line with a square, and then just cutting with tin snips. It cuts really easy. I've seen people cut it with a skill saw with their blade in backwards. I don't know. Sometimes this metal's thinner and it dents up a bit. I just find it easy, just as easy to cut it with the snips. So I've got uh, one piece, the first piece made up here. second to get my all my stuff. So uh, my very first piece, I like to uh, bend this channel and, and go up that covers in this little triangular area that you're going to have. Uh, you can either you could fill it with wood and side it if you want. I like this simple look with the soffit. So I want to slide it into the J channel. like so. Making sure I'm staying square to the building. I've got some marks lined, uh, marked out here that I already marked with my square. Then you need a small cordless drill and some small screws around 5 eighths of an inch long. And there's a, there's a channel right here that goes right tight up to your bottom of your wooden fascia. That's where you want to put your screw. So you put your screw in there like that got your first piece done. Now we're going to just take every subsequent piece and they basically lock together. There's a tongue and groove type system here. So our next piece just simply goes into the channel like so. Slide it over to your next piece. Move the lock or the tongue and groove pieces of metal together got it there. Now I want to put a joint right in the seam where the two pieces overlap and then I'm going to skip every second one. So I'm going to stick another one down here. You don't need a, a screw in every channel is not necessary. I'm going to stick one more in here. Like so and I'm, I'm going to continue on as I go that way. 
Now, uh, that being said, while I'm right here, I can also start the piece that's going to go up on the slope here on this gable end. So I've just got to get turned around here. Same idea, it just fits right in the J channel. Same idea, it just fits right here in the J channel. Like so. So uh, I've gone ahead and put the rest of the soft panels up in this area so that I can show you the fascia. And as I said before, the fascia is the, the piece of trim that goes and covers this wood here uh, to make your home maintenance free. So it comes in uh, uh, 10 foot lengths and it comes in two different heights, uh, actually three different heights, four, six and eight inch. Uh, so in this case we need the six inch. And uh, the ripper is already installed with this trim up here. It's a drip cap underneath the shingle. And our fascia slides up underneath it. So the fascia will slide under there, and then it'll butt up tight to the bottom of the soffit, which we already installed. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this into position. slides in like that. It'll generally kind of hold itself there for the time being until you get a chance to get some screws in it. I just want to make sure that I'm out flush here to this, to this face as well. And uh, this edge here I'm going to fold around the corner uh, before I do the next chunk. So I've got this put on there. I've pushed up nice and firm to the bottom of this but not too tight so that you're distorting it. And uh, the way I is with a few screws screwed up through the bottom here but make sure you line yourself up with these these ribs in the uh, soffit panel otherwise you kind of crush this part if you get into there and if you keep in your mind where you put the screws before in the soffit panel you know keep a pattern to it you'll know which one of these ribs that you can safely put a white headed screw colored screw into and not hit one of your screws that you fasten the soffit with so I should be able to uh, start with one screw right here. And just snug it up. It doesn't, don't uh, over tighten it because you'll just kink the heck out of all this stuff and it'll be all wavy and dented. So now uh, you only need a, a screw about every two to three feet. There's, there's plenty on here. So I'm going to skip go up to here. I've got one there and I just can simply continue on up the slope of the roof as I go. Uh, now I'm going to switch around to this other side and uh, prepare this end here to so that I can apply the, uh, the horizontal piece going along the, the, the rake end of the roof. So just be a second doing that. So before I can apply this piece of fascia here, I just need to finish off this piece I just installed that's coming down the slope of the roof. Uh, it, it hangs over the face of here. So I'm simply going to bend this flashing the roofer put on slightly up. And then bend my fascia piece around the corner. And it just kind of ends up giving a nice capped area there so we don't have any any wood showing at all when I when I put this piece on. So we've got that up there. I'll bend that back down into place and now I'm going to slide the other piece of fascia up here. First I guess before I do that I've got to uh, got to notch this 
a little wee bit. So if you measure the width of your, your bottom edge, in this case I've got inch and a quarter, I need to trim it here a little. It's kind of a lip on this particular brand. I need to trim it off so that it fits nicely over top of what we just put on there. And again, you can just trim this simply with some uh, aviation snips. Okay, so I trimmed that little notch out of there. I don't know that you're going to be able to see that, but basically just took this back flange off. And this fits just the same way. It just slips right up in behind that roofer's trim. Out flush to the end of the piece we already put on. Like so. Oh man, I forgot my drill. Always have your drill within arm's reach. So same as we did up the other edge, uh, you want to go every two to three feet with your screws. Okay, so I've got that attached. And I'm just coming back to this end. Stick one more screw right here, right on the corner, right into there. Just like so. And then usually, uh, if you're going to have eave trough applied, the eave trough is going to cover most of the surface here. I will generally stick a, a short shingle nail right here or a short screw, whichever. It's not going to be seen once the eave trough is done. It just holds this back flat on the edge so you don't get a, an open end. like that it closes this edge up and keeps everything nice and tight uh, you can if you want you can run a bead of caulking down here generally with caulking though it wants to attract dust and dirt over time so in the case of this being white eventually that caulking won't be white anymore so it's up to you whether you want to bother with that uh, that's why I like to wrap the, the end of this piece around the corner it protects that wood a little more and keeps if moisture does get in there it isn't rotting the end of the wood out right away don't go, don't go putting a bunch of screws or nails into this area. Uh, it might look a little floppy or wavy or whatever, but once the eave trough is on, uh, that'll all be held right into place with their screws or nails that they're using, and uh, everything should be good. So it gives you a nice clean look, and uh, you're ready to do siding or stucco or whatever your exterior finish is going to be. So uh, hopefully uh, this video helped you out on your project for soffit and fascia. And uh, we have lots of other videos on our YouTube channel, or you can check our website at uh, houseimprovements.com and uh, see what else we have on there to help you.